Center for Research and Practice in Medical Rehabilitation, Russian Federation, for her presentation. Good morning, dear colleagues. What about my presentation? Okay. Thank you. Uh, we are glad to welcome you to this Congress, uh, with, uh, un uh, which united uh, neurologists from all, the all over the world. I represent Moscow Center for Research and Practice in Medical Rehabilitation, Restorative and Sports Medicine of Moscow Healthcare Department. Our presentation is uh, virtual reality as a technology of multimodal correction of post-stroke motor and cognitive disturbances in conditions of multitasking uh, functioning. <clears throat> The next, please. Okay, thank you. Uh, it is known that cerebral stroke is the leading cause of uh, persistent and long-term disability of the population of all over the world. And it uh, isn't a secret that uh, there was an increase in the absolute number of uh, strokes for 20 last years. So the most frequent causes that limit uh, the daily activity of patients after stroke are speech disorders, uh, cognitive and emotional disturbances, sensory disturbances, and uh, um, motor disorders. First of all, unilateral spastic hemiparesis of variety uh, severity. In turn, motor disorders um, after stroke are often combined with other neurological syndromes, impaired sensitivity, speech, and cerebral disorders. Um, the degree of recovery of motor function is uh, inversely correlated uh, with, oh, sorry, can you return back? Okay, thank you. Uh, the degree of recovery of motor functions is uh, inversely correlated with the initial severity of neurological uh, deficits, cognitive and emotional disorders. That means uh, there is a growing need for medical rehabilitation of after-stroke patients. The recent studies show the advantages and uh, significant effectiveness of uh, multimodal neural rehabilitation in comparison with individual single domain interventions or single factor effects. Multimodal rehabilitation programs expand the possibility of the rehabilitation, improving adaptive neuroplastic changes by initiation of synergic and um, additive processes. So the efficacy of restoring sensory motory function is increased. Currently, the need for the emergence of new complex technologies of multimodal correction in neurorehabilitation is justified. Uh, the next, please. Thank you. Um, the retaining of patients using virtual reality technology is promising in the comprehensive rehabilitation of patients after cerebral stroke. Uh, as you know, according to definition, um, VR is an advanced form of human computer interface that allows the user to interact with and, uh, with and uh, uh, become immersed in a computer generated environment and immersed in a natural fashion. Uh, the following are the features that you need to focus on when using virtual reality in medical rehabilitation. They are plausible, interactive, machine generated, uh, available for study, and uh, of course, uh, because it involves both the brain and the user's body um, in the process, affecting the maximum possible number of sensory organs, um, it is presence effect. Uh, these advantages uh, determine personification, uh, patient satisfaction and cooperation with a doctor, increased motivation uh, for medical rehabilitation, compliance, and um, one of the advantages is the cost effectiveness of this method. All these factors have led to the emergence of new method of rehabilitation, uh, which is virtual rehabilitation. The next, please. Uh, what is uh, virtual rehabilitation? Virtual rehabilitation um, is um, a method of technology 
um, which includes methods of therapeutic impact, physical, cognitive, sensory, psychological, and occupational therapy based on VR or VR elements or computer technology. The methods uh, have the potential of basic concepts of neural rehabilitation of the afterstroke patients, such as intensity, intensity uh, repeatability, task orientation, uh, which is crucial for increasing neural flow. Excuse me, something's wrong with my presentation. No, ma'am, you can proceed. What's happened? Ma'am, you can proceed. Recording section is on, that's all. You can proceed further. Uh, what shall I do? Uh, just a minute, ma'am. You have my presentation, so. Yes, excuse me for the techni technological mistake. Oh. Can I proceed? Oh, we are waiting for. Ma'am, there is some technical issues. Yes. So you can uh, just wait for five minutes. This slide is interesting because it uh, show uh, the effect of uh, VR on neuroplasticity that is proved by different uh, studies. So let's wait. <clears throat>
Ну вот тут и начинаем. Excuse me, something is wrong with uh, my presentation, so we proceed without, uh, unfortunately, without slides. So this slide is, uh, this slide show uh, um, how VR uh, takes part in um, neuroplasticity. Uh, in neurogenesis, in uh, neurotransmission modulation, uh, synaptogenesis, increased proliferation and differential of neuroglia cells, uh, increased expression of vascular endothelial growth factor, formation of neuroreciprocal and interhemispheric uh, connection. Um, then we are, would like to discuss um some um, actual questions about um based evidence medicine um data from pubmed database analysis of total 481 records of these 27 articles were included in the study and final uh, from the first uh, uh, final we are um, excuse me something's wrong Go on without slides, please. It's better. Um, from the perspective of the evidence-based medicine, special virtual reality and gaming virtual reality can be advantageous for treatment of upper extremity, but not for hand dexterity and gait in all pathology considered. Special virtual reality can improve balance in uh, neurologic patients um, such as after stroke patients. Um, we are currently included in the guideline for the management of stroke patients and has a high degree of evidence. And we'd like to um, show our, the results of our uh, study. Uh, the purpose of study was to evaluate, evaluate, um, evaluate sorry, the efficacy and safety of VR in multimodal correction of post-stroke motor and cognitive disturbances in conditions of multitasking function. Uh, we'd like to present you um, two specialist programs and um, VR programs um, for immersing the patients in a familiar environment, kitchen and apartment. The study was a randomized trial. It involved 106 uh, patients, um, after stroke patients who uh, received uh, medical rehabilitation in our center, uh, 56 of them with the use of uh, virtual reality. The intervention was aimed at the upper limb stability and low limb activity. Um, as I said, uh, we have developed special programs, uh, kitchen and apartment, with um, understandable everyday life tasks for cooking or cleaning for the room uh, for patients. The primary outcomes were changes in scores on the Fugelmeyer activity, action research arm test, Berg scale. The secondary outcomes were changed on the medical research council scale, uh, Monreal cognitive assessment, MOCA, hospital anxiety and depression scale, the quality of life scores, and functional independence by Bartle index. The results were assessed before the therapy at the end of medical rehabilitation. It is 15 sessions uh, three times a week uh, and one month after the intervention. Uh, the results after the medical rehabilitation with virtual reality, uh, reality improvement in uh, Fugelmeyer activity, ARAD scores, and in cognitive and emotional function scores on MOC and HATS, as well as in the dependence of daily life, uh, living and uh, quality of life, life was noted. 
Uh, so uh, training with uh, multi-sensory effects on visual, auditory, vestibular, and kinesthetic analysis, uh, analysis in multitasking conditions have beneficial effects on cognitive and motor trainings, retraining, and uh, neuropsychological status of the patients, and an increase in the level of motivation to achieve success in the rehabilitation of after-stroke patients. The synergetic nature of uh, multimodal effects of VR uh, makes it possible to expand the possibilities and increase the effectiveness of medical rehabilitation in patients after stroke. Thank you very much. We'd like to introduce to you our comment, uh, multidisciplinary and uh, team, team, uh, sorry, team, and uh, this study was registered at the uh, clinical government uh, trial uh, platform. So it has um, universal uh, support, yes. Thank you very much. Sorry for uh, such technical problem problems. Thank you, Dr. Elena. I'm sorry for the inconvenience caused by uh, some technical issues were there, so we were not able to, uh, you know, uh, present your. Uh, sorry. So thank you, madam, for your informative presentations. Thank you so much. So, is anybody is having any question? <laughs> so they can proceed.